Hey guys, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be reviewing Baywatch. So lifeguard music began butts heads with a new recruit, Matt Brody, as they uncover a crime criminal that threatens the future of the Bay. Now, I always liked this movie. I am, and I'm disappointed that there's no sequel. Um, and you guys know me, I like the references, like the pop culture references that they throw in there, like... There's a bunch of DC stuff and High School Musical One Direction and all that references kind of referencing pop culture. And I think if you guys like comedies with The Rock in it, you're really gonna like this movie. Like, if you like the Jumanji movies, like The Next Level and Welcome to the Jungle and Central Intelligence, in my original review that is just cringeworthy nowadays. I said, this movie has everything teenagers like, and I stand by that. And I think this movie has stuff that adults will enjoy. Like, adults might realize that it's a bad movie, but they won't mind sitting down and watching it, if you know what I mean, because there's a lot of, a lot of references about bums and boobs, and teenagers will really like this movie. And it was at a certain point where like, cause you need to be the right age for this, cause when I first watched this movie, I it was on Netflix and I snuck it behind my mum because she never allowed me to watch it. So I watched it, behind her back on my iPad in my room. I loved it. I was cracking up the entire time and I enjoyed it. I loved The Rock and Zac Efron as a comedy duo. Ever since then, I downloaded it on Netflix in the downloads. I watched it on school trips and everything. So I really, really liked this movie. And I... And... Speak of that, actually. I love the movie so much that I decided to get the original series. So here's season one of the original Baywatch. I really like this set. It's a really good set. It's the complete first season with six discs. Um, I really love it. And of course, a uh, season two, uh, a season two episode on here, which is Nightmare Bay Part One. So, but yeah, and then, so, and it's one of the things where it's like, the character of uh, Mish Buchanan is highlight character throughout uh, the show and in the movie, oh, played by The Rock, of course. Another character that means a lot to so many uh, people, especially Americans that watch Bay Watch at the time was Pamela Anston as CJ. Kelly Roboch. She has a great job at playing CJ. She's like the new version of Pamela Anston. I think that every person would go like, yeah, she's hot. She's what Pamela Anderson was to, was to us when the original series was airing. So I think I'm going to give this movie four stars. I really like this movie. Um, it's fun. Just to see a lot of boobs, bums, and why not? It's just dumb fun. So guys, please hit the like button down below if you haven't already. Hit subscribe. Also the little bell icon to notify future videos I make. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care. Bye. Hey there. Subscribe to my channel. And also press this bell icon.